Hello. Today, I'd like to talk about Lotus. Um, this was asked recently if this would uh, run on my uh, modular computer, so I gave it a try. So, I've booted up FreeDOS here. Uh, I've got it on the uh, USB drive. Running it on my modular board, we've got just the, uh, the four slot ISA board. So all we've got is the, the memory, the processor, a video card, and the USB drive. Um, I was messing with this earlier. I don't think it needs a mouse or even uses one. Um, the last uh, release of this won't run on a uh, 8088 requires a 286, so I'm not sure if some of the newer versions would uh, use a mouse or not. So, anyway, so to run it, you just type Lotus, opens up to this screen. I never actually used this when I was younger. I see my parents use it, but I never used it. Um, let's just hit enter on one, two, three there. So it brings us up to a uh, spreadsheet. So I was playing around with this a little bit. It's actually pretty, uh, it's more advanced than I kind of expected actually. Uh, you can just, so you just type in what you want. So you could go like, um, put a number in here, uh, hit tab. Shift tab will take you back to the beginning. Arrow keys will take you over so we can put in another number. You can put, uh, so unlike Excel, you do plus A1 minus B1, you get a negative 13, and if you change it, it'll update. So that's kind of, uh, I don't even know it would do that much. Let's put in some text. Text works. So it looks like, uh, they put it like an apostrophe for text. So like delete doesn't work. Home will take you back up to the uh, top corner there. If I push end, a little bit off the screen here, but you can see that it says end over here. Then if I arrow, it takes me to the end of the row. Same with the, going across the top there. Sorry, the end of the column over here. End of the row. Let's see if we put some uh, text in here. So it subtracts from that, which it doesn't see as anything. So I wonder how you clear out a cell. It does have F1 for help. Uh, looks like you can change column widths, cell formats. What we got in here? Numeric formats. Uh, there are formulas. So that's how I kind of figured out a few things. Um, there's some functions. I didn't play with these too much. I was actually surprised they even had functions. I was trying to see if they like had like a add or a sum. See, there's D sum. I don't know if that has to do with like uh, data base type stuff. Let's see, sums the value in a field of the input range that meets the criteria of the range. So they want a criteria. Function index. It's actually pretty user friendly. Um, 
Thanks for back to the help index. So you got different worksheets it looks like. Uh, I was reading, not today, but a while ago that Lotus required a lot of memory. Uh, maybe later on. Um, let's see, so forward slash, you open up this menu on the top. Looks like there's some like functions up here. So you got some data. It's interesting if it actually does some basic data. Maybe it is a database and I didn't know that. I thought it was a spreadsheet thing. Uh, you can quit. Took me a minute to figure out how to quit. Um, let's see if we can change. Let's, let's see if we put a border or something on here. Let's see, there's macros. Not sure if you can put lines. I wouldn't see when this printed. I'm not sure how it would have printed out either. I don't think this is the first version, but it's definitely not the last version. I tried the last version earlier, and it just gave me an error, telling me I needed a 286. See if we can figure out how to clear out a cell. We got F1. Let's see what F2 does. F3, F4. Enter address to go to. Let's go A6. So F5, you can jump to an address. So H1 takes over there. F6 doesn't do anything, F7. So that doesn't do anything. So the arrow keys are pretty much the only way to move. If you hit enter, it doesn't do anything. So that's, that might be, oh no, it's got a, it's got an apostrophe in there. So it's showing there's like a space. Still the same. It's not really that important. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can do something a little more complex. Uh, plus. A1 divided by B1 plus C1. That gave us something there. I'll have a calculator to check the math, but I, I would assume that it's doing the order of operations correctly. Let's see if we can put parentheses in there. Um, I don't know if you always have to do the plus. So, give us a, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so that checks out there. Just wonder if there's a way to highlight the cells, like put in some color. I, I doubt it. Uh, let's see here. F1 again. Cell formula at cell range. The keyboard index.
Backspace erase character deletion. So you got value and label mode here. What that means. So value, let's see. Now it was saying So you've got these, anyway, you got the built-in help, but uh, anyway, that's the uh, kind of a quick look at Lotus with what limited knowledge I have on Lotus um, running on my uh, homemade modular PC. So thanks for checking out my video today.